Let's consider a slightly less trivial regression problem, regression through the origin. And in fact, this is a very important version of regression because you can basically develop all of linear models with regression through the origin used in clever ways. Remember, y is y1 to yn, a vector in rn, and so let's assume x is now x1 to xn, another vector in rn, and the points are coordinated, so y1 corresponds to x1, yn corresponds to xn, and all the other points in between. We want to find the regression line that minimizes the distance between y and x beta, where we look at the squared distance because it makes it a little bit easier. This is basically minimizing the sum of the squared vertical distances between the observed y points and the fitted points on a line through the origin. If we expand this square, we get y transpose y minus 2y transpose x beta plus x transpose x beta squared. Taking a derivative with respect to beta, we get negative 2y transpose x plus 2x transpose x beta setting that equal to zero yields the solution that beta hat is y transpose x divided by x transpose x or the inner product of y and x divided by the norm of x squared. We can check a second derivative condition easily because we get 2x transpose x when we take the second derivative which is always strictly greater than zero because this is just twice the squared norm of x. Therefore, our least squares criteria is convex in beta, so beta hat minimizes this criteria. Just to remind ourselves what we're accomplishing, we're taking a line through the origin and using the origin as a pivot point and moving that line around. For the collection of points on the scatter, point, scatter plot, we're calculating the vertical distance between those points in the line and we're finding the line that minimizes the sum of the squares of these vertical distances that slope of that line is the inner product of y and x divided by the inner product of x with itself. Now imagine if y and x have both been mean centered and this would be a reasonable, reasonable setting for where we would like to have regression through the origin because the origin is now right in the middle of the y and x points. You can center your y values by just subtracting off the mean from each coordinate. Same thing with your x values, subtract off the mean of the x's from each coordinate. Abusing notation, we're going to still treat y as if it's the vector that it's interested in, and we're interested in x as the vector that we're interested in. We're just now going to assume that y bar and x bar are both zero. But remember, you can achieve this very easily for your data just by subtracting off the empirical mean from each of the two vectors. So beta hat is the inner product of y and x divided by the inner product of x with itself. That's summation yi xi divided by n divided by summation xi squared divided by n, where here we've just divided, multiple, divided the numerator and denominator by n, so effectively multiplied by one or did nothing. Because y bar and x bar are both zero, we can pretend like we're subtracting them off in all of the, these terms. So now that we relook at this equation, basically what we see is that it's the estimated covariance between y and x divided by the variance of x. We can tinker around with this formula just a little bit to find out that it's the correlation, the estimated correlation between y and x times the standard deviation of y divided by the standard deviation of x. Let's double check the units. The correlation is a unit free quantity recall because it's between it's always between minus one and plus one it's a unit free quantity standard deviation of y has units of y x standard deviation standard deviation of y has units of y standard deviation of x has units of x so this slope term has units of y divided by units of x units so it is correct because it it's a slope regressing x is a predictor and y is an outcome it's a line with x is the horizontal part and y is the vertical part, so it has the correct units. But this is a very famous formula, namely that the regression slope is the correlation between the predictor and response multiplied times the standard deviation of the response divided by the standard deviation of the predictor. And in fact, we'll find that this is the solution when we do regression not necessarily through the origin. 
And so what we'll find is that if you mean center your data and do regression through the origin, you get ordinary regression. Going back to this point I made earlier, that regression to the origin can kind of give you all variations of regression sort of easily.